So speaking of young readers, Golanito, yeah. that is a beautiful, beautiful children's book. Can you tell me how yes, that came Golanito out? Is a, Golanito is a, a short story that I wrote a, envisioning the, a possible reincarnation, the word doesn't, uh, it might be a little out of place, a, of the myth of the golem taking place in Mexico in the context of the Yiddish Shule where I went to with some of the friends, Sami Nurko and Berele Shapiro are all real friends that I had in my past and creating, Sami Nurko was, uh, was a very close friend of mine who was a kind of crazy inventor in school who could create a radio or create devices whereby the, the ring to, to let people know that the class was over could could uh, could start seven minutes early so that everybody would be able to leave class earlier, um, but who was always bullied by others. And Sammy and I had a very close relationship, and I always think of that relationship that I had with him, and I have imagined what would have happened if the golem, which was created in Eastern Europe as a myth to help protect the Jews from anti-Semitic attacks, particularly in Prague with the Maharal, a, a very important rabbi, Rabbi Lowe, who, a, according to Jewish mysticism and Kabbalah, had such power with the Hebrew alphabet that he was able to create this Frankenstein-like monster that uh, had written letters on his forehead and was a kind of servant and protector of him and of the synagogue and of the Jewish community against the bullies from the outside. Um, the myth of the golem is such that eventually, because of the articulation of the word uh, met and emet in the forehead, can actually kill the cre its, cre its own creator. And Mary Shelley used the myth for Frankenstein, thus my, my invocation of the word, of the, of the title a little bit before. What would happen if we could have created a little golem, a little miniature one that you could hold it in your hand, by not using Hebrew letters, but Nahuatl poetry that Sammy and I used to read? So this is a kind of a, a fictional a meditation on that friendship, on the Yiddish school, and on the little golem that we visualized for ourselves. And uh, it was originally published in the magazine Spider, and after that, uh, this publisher bought it, and I'm very excited to, to, to turn it into a book. 